Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is kind of a studio slash blender slash kind of all around thingy. So here I am. I'm inside uh, Blender Studio. Blender. Um, so if you don't know what Blender is, check out the description. I'll probably throw it in there. Anyhow, it's a free to download CGI slash modeling slash rendering slash all kinds of around awesomeness. And what I wanted to show you tonight was how to take and create something inside Blender, send it, like export it out, and then import it into Roblox. Basically, you can make your own meshes. As long as it's under, I think, 5,000 triangles, tri tris, faces, something, vertices, I don't know. Anyhow, um, this is the default scene, so uh, I'm actually going to use this. So inside Blender, I'm just going to highlight, all right, make sure I'm not selected, highlight my object. I'm going to hit tab, so I'm going into t to edit mode. I'm going to hit subdivide. That's going to split everything's face vertices into things. Um, also, um, your keyboard is huge. There's, there's like five or six different layouts of the keyboard itself, depending on what mode you're in. Right now I'm in edit mode. If you hit tab, you're back in object mode. Um, if you select down here, you can change to textures, weighted paints. Like there is a lot that Blender can do. When I edit my videos, I actually come up here and I switch this over to do, 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 video editing mode. And I can do video edits inside here. Blender is a huge program and don't let it intimidate you. It's just going to take a lot of time, a lot of time to learn. And there's tutorials and videos and everything out there. Blender.org will, uh, Blender3D.org will give you tons of um, video tutorials on what to do, how to do things. And that's basically what we're gonna be doing tonight. So um, this little thing right here, it allows me to select the vertices that are back behind that you can't see, like these vertices back here. I'm gonna be able to hit A to unselect everything. And then I'm just gonna hit B to do like a, I don't know, this rectangle-y thingy. And I'm gonna hit X, kill it. Uh, do you want to de delete these? Yes, I'm gonna delete the vertices. So now we only have half a box. Uh, why'd you do that code? Well, because I'm gonna come back over here into object mode. I'm gonna hit my modifiers tab and I'm gonna add a modifier called mirror. Maybe, if I can find it. Mirror, 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 mirror. There it is, boop. Just like that. Uh, we're gonna change it to the Y axis like that. And if you can't tell what it's doing, I'm gonna un or I'm gonna check clipping. Go back into edit mode, and now I only have to edit one side of this. So if I hit B, grab these vertices and grab them, the other side mirrors what it's doing. Uh, you can do the same thing if I wanted to cut it again, and then mirror the Z axis as well. I could. Uh, I don't need to, so we're not going to. Uh, let's go ahead and hit, uh, da, 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 let's do B again. I'm gonna grab these vertices. I'm gonna hit E to extrude. Extruding is kind of like Play-Doh. Um, to push Play-Doh through um, a cast or a die, you extrude the Play-Doh through there. Same thing that we're doing here. Oops, uh, da, 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 grab. We can size it if we want, just hit Z. So we're on one axis. We can hold control to go exact amounts. And there, so there, that's that. Um, what do we want to make? I, I don't know, I don't even know. I, I wouldn't even think of anything. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this one, hold shift, grab this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. And we're just going to shrink those down like that, why not? Uh, we'll grab this one, grab Z, grab X. By the way, I'm pressing G to grab the vertice, and then I'm pressing the X, Y, Z coordinate that corresponds to that. And then let's grab this one on the Y axis, and then grab Z, pull that down. Looks kind of cool, I think. Grab Z, pull that down, not really. And grab Y. No, no, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Nope, no, nope, nope. Control Z. We're gonna undo that. Control Z again. There, there we go. Okay. So let's grab this top one right here. Grab Z, push that all the way up. Now that has a weird face on it. I don't like the way that face looks. 
of course it's it's not doing the back face as well so is there a face missing off of it I wonder hold on let's turn this off nope the face is there it's just not rendered correctly alt grab alt up oh, alt shift grab both of these we're going to grab and press Y, G, and then Y, so it's just on the Y axis. Pull it in just like that. And then, let's see, let's grab this right here. And let's grab these back here. I'm gonna grab X. Nope, we're going to scale S. There we go. Boink, like that. Nice. It's kind of like a little sword head looking thing. Now, if we're still in this mode, we can do tab, and then we're going to change it to smooth. So now that still looks weird on the backside. I don't like it. Don't like it one bit. Hmm, why, 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 why? That's okay. Scale on the Z axis like this, and then we're just going to scale the whole thing down. Uh, go back into edit mode, grab this top one up here, grab Z, whoops, A, grab Z, and hold on, that's X-ray, grab Z, there we go, like that, nice, I like it, I like it a lot, alright, so let's hit A to unselect everything, I'm going to hit B, select the bottom one, we're going to extrude downward and scale outward. Grab Z, pull that back up just a little bit, like that. Uh, grab Z, there we go. And extrude again, press E, and then press Z, so we're only moving on the Z axis. There we go, right there, and we're going to scale, press S, scale that back down. Here, let's go into, there we go. What I did to change the mode there is hit F or hit five on the numerical pad, and <clears throat> ortho, or, orthoscope. So anything in the distance is the same size as it is in front of you. So like it makes everything look like this, even though it's like this distance. I I, I don't know. Uh, grab a Z, pull that up like that. We're going to hit E, extrude that down one more time. Uh, scale it a little bit more. I don't like that handle. Grab Z, there we go. And then we're going to, uh, let's see, no, 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 no. Control Z, there we go. All right, let's scale, press S, and then on the X axis, I want this to come out because the handle's gonna be a little bit more round. Like that, I think, yeah. And then press E to extrude. Pull it down just a little bit, scale it, good. Scale on the X axis so it comes out. Grab Z, no, extrude, sorry. E, and then press Z. There we go, just like that. Turn off ortho mode. I think it's ortho, is it ortho? I don't know if it's ortho, could be ortho, maybe. It still looks, uh, the handle just looks huge. I don't like it. I don't like the handle at all. All right, let's go back to the front. Press one, or sorry, three. Hit A, and then I'm gonna hit B. We're gonna grab this right here. We're just going to scale that down. Uh-oh, I didn't grab them all. Why did I not grab them all? Oh, because I got that turned off. There we go. Turn that, scale down, uh, scale Z. Scale down a little bit more, scale and then scale Z. There we go. That looks a little bit better. The hilt just looks weird. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Let's grab this and this. Scale like that. Good. Nice. I like it. That looks much better. And then let's grab here. Uh, sorry, I hit A to unselect everything, and then I hit B to do the, the box select, and then I grabbed these vertices down here at the bottom. I'm going to hit 
E to extrude those down one more. I'm going to scale them way out, hit E one more time, and I'm just gonna scale them back in like that. So now we have a bottom hilt to the, the handle. So that looks that looks pretty good. Uh, let's hit tab, get out of edit mode, and let's render this real quick. <laughs> it looks like a silly sword. That's okay. Uh, I'm 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 not. The point of this is not to like do the best model in the world. It's to show you how to extract it. So let's go ahead and go to uh, file export, and then you're going to choose the FBX file. FBX like that. I'm just going to call this sword one enter enter done. So now I should be able to come over here. We're going to hide that scene. Blender. Fade, 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 fade. <clears throat> I'm just going to go ahead and create a new game because we don't have one yet, mate. And let's do a uh, base plate. Do, 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 do. Oh, I got to hit the create game button. There we go. Create game. Creating a new game. Code's new place. And uh, we're not even going to edit anything. We're just going to hit edit and go straight into uh, studio. <clears throat> Again, I apologize about my voice because the whole cold thing that's been going on, th that's okay. We're, we're fine with it. We're good. I'm okay. And here we are inside studio. So the first thing we need to do is we need to put the mesh into the game. So inside workspace, I'm just going to right click, do insert object, and we're going to look for the mesh part. Where is mesh part? There it is. Boop. Mesh part. And it looks like this. So there's the mesh. Awesome. Now this mesh needs our mesh that we created. Uh, by the way, this does not cover texturing, which also in, involves UV mapping. So if you're wanting to texture your object, look into UV mapping as well. This is just to get an object. Uh, let's go look for sword, 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 sword. Where did I extract it to? Oh uh, gosh. Oh gosh. Uh, okay, hold on. I've got a whole bunch of other ones. Where did that extract to? File. Uh, sorry, not extract, export. Mm, okay. So, so it's actually in. Okay, no, I don't want to quit. Just hit cancel. Cancel, please. Thank you. Minimize. There we go. And we're going to hit open. We're going to go into. Go up one folder. Up one folder, and there it is. Sword. It's bigger. Yes, it's going to be much bigger than the actual game, and that's okay. But there you have it. I now have my mesh inside the game. The scale is much, much different. Oh, gosh, wait. Did it do anything weird up there at the top where those vertices were? No, it did not. It actually looks pretty good. Pretty good. So let's go ahead and hit the model key. We're going to scale this down big time. Whoa. And we could do this off the uh, the properties over there on the, the side, but might as well do it manually. Why not? Let's bring this way up. There we go. It's still like tremendously huge. <laughs> it's all. There we go. All right, and scale this down like that. There we have it. That's still huge. Uh, compared to my character, if I were to run this right now, like that thing, that thing is huge. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'll never be able to pick that up. That's crazy. Okay, so let's go back in. Stop. Um, let's see. If I do negative. Oh no, can't do negative. How do I... Hmm. There's supposed to be a way I can scale the whole thing. Is it size? Nah, let's just do it manually. Might as well. Why not? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, and go this way. There we go. It's getting a little bit more to scale. There we go. And let's hit F5. 
Let's see how that looks for me. I probably here. Yeah, let's uh, let's stop. Let's put this right in the middle. So position orientation is going to be nope. Position is going to be zero, comma five, comma zero. There we go. So now if we hit F5, it should be right in the middle, right with us. There we go. Much better. So now we have like a little sword. And that's basically how you import. I'm not going to get into handles. I'm not going to get into um, how to turn this into an actual weapon, put it onto your, your character. This is simply how to get meshes from, um, from Blender into your game. Um, this way, if you want to do custom maps or custom headphones, like the headphones I'm wearing, those are actually a mesh. They weren't built with parts, I think. <laughs> Uh, anyhow, that's how you use Blender to pull things into the world. Uh, I should be able to go here. Let's do um, da, 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 anchored. Where's anchored? Select anchored. Let's change the material to glass. Let's change the transparency to 0.5. Oh, that's going to look so beautiful. Oh, it's going to be so pretty. It's going to be a glass sword. Look at this. Oh, that is awesome. By the way, I love the glass textures. They look so cool inside the game. All right, anyhow. Thank you all for watching this episode of Blender slash Roblox slash Studio slash, I don't, I don't know what you want to call it, tutorial. Is it, is it a Blender tutorial? Is it a Studio tutorial? Is it a Mesh tutorial? I don't know. Um, you can find out a lot more on Blender's website. You can find out a lot more on Roblox's website. As always, I love you guys very much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Check out all the links in the descriptions. Yeah. <laughs> Love you guys so much. Thank you for everything you've done for me. And that really is, that's just a suggestion. You don't have to like, you don't have to comment, and you don't have to subscribe. But if you like the content, it helps me out. And I'd love to have you as part of the, the Coder family. Love you guys. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.